Okay, so there's kind of a four-step procedure to using the Lagrangian method. And in the last video, we actually covered step one, which is to just set up the Lagrangian correctly. If we're trying to maximize utility, then this is the way, uh, one way to set it up, all right, if our problem is over maximizing food and shelter. All right, we have the objective function first, our utility, we've got our constraint, and we're multiplying by this new creature called the Lagrange multiplier, which will try to get some intuition for what it's doing later. The second step, just like with uh, the firm's profit maximization problem, we're gonna take first order conditions over all endogenous variables. And uh, in particular, for a consumer, the endogenous variables are food and shelter, okay? But we also, when we're using the Lagrangian method, have to take uh, the first order condition with respect to the Lagrange multiplier which is that new little thing we created, okay? So if we take the first order conditions, what does that look like? Well, we're gonna take the partial derivative of this Lagrangian with respect to food, because the consumer is choosing how much food to consume. And we get that the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to food is, is the first thing we get. And then we look to see, does food appear anywhere else? Well, it appears here in the constraint and you see it's multiply. it's got no exponents or anything, so it's just gonna be one times the price of food, but then also times this Lagrange multiplier, which is in there, okay? So minus lambda, uh, lambda which is the name of that Greek letter, times the price of food. The next uh, partial derivative is gonna be shelter because that's another choice variable. We get the partial derivative of utility function with respect to shelter minus, looking for it here, ah, there's the S, times these guys. And then we also need to take the first order condition with respect to the Lagrange multiplier, so a third one. Even though that's not something that we're really gonna consume, it is endogenous and is something we use. So if we take the derivative with respect to this, there's no lambda in the objective function, which is just this utility function, so nothing there. But it does appear here. It has no exponent or anything over it, so the derivative of it is just one multiplied by this big term in parentheses, okay? Okay, and so we've accomplished step two, which is to take our first order conditions over the endogenous variables in the Lagrange multiplier. So it's not that different from the problem of a firm maximize a firm's maximization problem, which was we set up the profit function and we took derivatives with respect to all their choices. Here, instead of the profit function, we set up the Lagrangian and we take the derivative over all their choices, but then we add to it the Lagrange multiplier, which is gonna end up capturing this idea that their choices are constrained and limited and not, they can't just choose whatever they want. Next step will tell us how to proceed.